Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Uh, whoops, making noise already. Sorry, just putting stuff away. I've been looking to see what I want to use to um, finish my O'Keefe page. Uh, I finally came back to it and finished it last night. Um, <clears throat> it definitely turned out much, much different from where it began. But I really do enjoy the use of color. You guys did not go with me to see a lot of this finishing because it just was time consuming, number one. And number two, I, um, I was away from my house for a while, so filming was not as easy. And um, so you'll see some finishing on here, but you won't get to see all of it because, you know, you guys get tired after 15-20 minutes anyways, if I can keep you that long. <clears throat> now, as I'm looking through here, this is the pen that I used to, um, come on, I do love how that turned out, that one I love. I love how this copper pen uh, turned out, <clears throat> just kind of going along the lines. Now this had been um, slightly stabiloed, and you know, I really was having an issue with all the colors kind of blending together. And this one, well, sometimes the iridescence is less and sometimes it's more. It just depends on how the glare is. What I'd actually like to do is go back through and, what's this one? Deco Just Glitter Premium. Heck no. White, no, absolutely not. Let's see, what else do we got? Another white. So, I thought I had another metallic one, but I may have used it all up. I think it would be kind of cool to go back in here through some of these spots, but on the other hand, if I venture into that, then I am going to need to pull it all the way through. I do like that it's on the front, on the front alone. Yeah, it's just this one, when I look at it with the glare on it, it kind of all, the gold. Hmm. I tried to take the Stabilo back into it. The Stabilo wasn't working. These were actually really tough to finish up here. You can see where I stenciled with some gelatos. Here's a little bit of gelato working here. <clears throat> These have had layers and layers and layers and layers of paint trying to get them to where I'm really happy with them. And I like where they're at. Uh, some pages I just like better than others. Like this one, I love that page. And this one is probably my favorite of all of them. And I don't know why. I don't know how. I love this one also. So, you know, what an amazing learning experience this spread was. It took so much time, so much work, so much energy, but I really do love the results. I went over this uh, white skull. You may remember it was kind of a gray white skull um, with a blue watercolor pen. You know, it's, it's layers and layers between acrylic paint, inks, <clears throat> everything. Then I put it down, take it up, put it down, take it up. This um, Distress Ink Ground Espresso uh, in a dauber. This is pretty cool stuff. I would definitely suggest having this in your toolbox. However, I would probably use the Walnut Stain instead of the Ground Espresso. The Ground Espresso does do some really pretty stuff. Let me show you one thing. Let me show you what I finished up yesterday. <laughs> that video will be coming out after the O'Keefe set. So, all right, that was a sneak peek for that. <laughs> Teaser. Okay, so I've decided I've got these two beautiful buttons. I believe that Kathy gave me. Kathy is um, a friend from work. And I think what I want to do is... Uh, How do I want to attach them? How do I want to do this? That's a good question. And another thing that I don't love is, so the paint may, may be drying out a bit. And all I'm trying to do is just kind of match that color up a little bit more. Better, better. There we go. 
So when you're painting like this, you, know, you don't want to press down and make a puddle, right? I think I have to be careful on working this guy. No time to futz, right? I think you're done. There you go. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So trying to make the closure. How am I I'm envisioning it, hoping that it will go that way. Luckily I have a couple of those guys left. Necessary. Where's my puncher? No, oh, it's up. Okay. Look at what size. This is a larger size. That's perfect. This is a leather um, owl. 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 A W L. Is that right? I hate that when I'm. You know, I'm just not a speller. Never claim to be a pro. Okay, oh, that's the side. Which side are we gonna have a button on? I think we'll have the button on that side there. So that means that I'm gonna want the rivet side to be over here. And we're gonna make a rivet over here. Actually, we want it here. Mark three and a half down. Mark three and a half down. Half an inch in. Half an inch in. That's where the rivet's gonna go. So we're gonna put this one three and a half down. We're gonna put this one three and a half down. It's a horrible ruler. It was super cheap. Oh, wrong spot though. I take alcohol and get that Sharpie off. Right? You guys know that by now, by watching me. Now there's also watercolor brush underneath of there. This will lighten up that blue a little bit, but that's okay. Actually, I, I wouldn't mind it just being a touch lighter. Mm, no, it actually, the blue soaked right into that. You see how you took that Sharpie mark right off. Don't, don't scrub it. It becomes sticky, very sticky. Adding alcohol to laser print makes stickiness and to all the other mediums. They're a little bright and brand new, aren't they? I think they're old, honestly. It's gonna be much easier to do while it's in my hand than on the book. You like that better? But why would you put it on and take it off? Well, because it's, you know, uh, it's like getting the paint into the crevices. I can't. How about that? I'm picky. Now I want a smaller hole for these buttons to go into. No, I guess I actually want the same size hole. Yeah. 
You don't really want to mess it up. Not when you're at the final stages of the page. Just stop. Just measure it one last time. Right? Just take your time. There's a hole that's not going to be reversed. Now, I'm looking at our button. There's a lot of brass in that button. Is there enough copper? Well, I've got copper. Okay. And then the next question is, is do I want the buttons on the outside? I think that answer is yes. exactly perfect but they're kind of you know they're mostly close and uh, I like the placement what am I doing on time past time again perfect and oh, pretty darn good okay so try this first. Um, I would prefer to do this with some sort of string here, but I don't have really anything that will get through there. I don't have a needle. Do I want to do it with yarn? I should probably do it with fabric. Let's just try it real quick here and see what happens. Maybe. Real quick. Easier said than done, right? I'm not going to have anything that looks shoddy here. I definitely don't want something that... Yeah, let's see how that... Okay. Yeah, no. No go. Alright, let's go find some ribbon. Let's see what we've got in the ribbon bucket. Over here. Oh, you're not even in screen. That's what's different. I had to move this in order to get to that. Oh, that's better. No. That's a pretty amazing match. Let's see what we can do with this. Except this stuff is just a pain to work with.
see if we can do it. We got it through one. Are we gonna need to put two rivets on? Is it nicer on the back side anyway? Easy peasy pie. doesn't go into the rivet. So I want that as tight as possible. Somewhere. Let's get yay, good job. Somewhere I have the string that I want to use as a closure here. But maybe I'll just use this. Because this is really pretty. However, it does have a tendency to fray, right? And yeah, it would have been easier if I'd put some tape on these ends, I know. I just don't know where my tape is. I have a lovely orange 70s tape dispenser. I don't know where it is. Which is strange. The dang gremlins are back, aren't they? Come on. Come on. Okay. It's not going to go that way. It's going to go this way. It got to go, right? There we go. Georgia. All right, I'm gonna darken down everything that is white right here. Finish it. Finish it well. Or I could take a drop of that distress ink. That will color everything. There. Gosh, the tape comes off. I got all the white bits off. Seriously? Where did that white bit come from? Unacceptable. Okay, let's do this. Look how pretty. Awesome. I'm so happy, excited. I found um, brown Stabilo pencils. I'm hoping, because I use brown so much more than black. Black to me is a very um, 
dead color in a lot of ways. So I'm hoping. I don't know how it's going to work. But I think for what I like to make, and my for my palette, which is very earthy, obviously. And I'm super late for work at this point. Well, not late for work, late for getting ready for work. I still got stuff to do this morning. That's what this page was missing. Much better. Isn't it amazing what just a touch of stays on can do? There's a reason why I use it on every single canvas when I finish it. It's because I like um, the way it looks. I think it gives a richness. I think it uh, finishes the piece up nicely. Otherwise, I wouldn't continually use it. You know, I like the look. And my work is pretty distinctive. Um, you know, I have a definite uh, style. Okay, so I'm going to go and get in my shower. Get ready for work. I should have been doing half hour ago. And then, if I have time, but I need to find uh, what I want to use here. It's the only way I can think of to clasp this. Honestly, I I had I had other thoughts in mind, but it's not. I don't think it would work. You know, I could have used, and still could use if I wanted to. Yeah, you know, but even that. How would I make them able to move? And how would I make them stay to where all you have to do is unclasp it? You know, I just don't have enough clasps type setups. You know, my stash isn't isn't that great. It's not bad, but it's not where I'd love it to be for sure. 
All right, guys, I'm just gonna let that stays on dry a little bit because it does create some stickiness. We don't like we don't like sticky. We don't like the word moist, right? Definitely don't let it apply to your paintings. And this side was better, just right off the bat. I live in um, I live near water, not on the water, so it's a little humid sometimes. Uh, not as dry, of course, as back home. There we go. Just gonna let that dry, nice and happy. Talk to you soon. I'll be back and I will do the absolute finishing touches on this guy. You are going to have video number two showing how I put all of these little pieces down and wow, was it a process. But it looks it's worth it. To me, the work has been worth it. I feel very proud of what's come out of it, so. Okay, take your easy guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, now I went too far. There you go. Okay, we are going to use this guy. We're just going to try this. Stay. Let's see. What if we do this? All right, that's perfect. That's awesome, except for the fact that I left this too short. Or what about if we use a piece of this? Dead. I think that will work better. What do you think? Let's get a nice generous piece here. That way we have danglies. Ooh, that stuff likes to make a mess. Gotta find some uh, matches. This works. Should work. Hopefully we don't set off the fire alarm, right? A little bit of water. Oh, that's not working. Okay, so if this stuff ravels that quickly, guess you have to do that and work with it, right? New product. Again, this was not my stuff to begin with. I need my shiz scissors sharpened. Scissors. Scissors sharpened.
Ah, one's not staying in there. And I like that button to sit in there. Yeah, I'm going back to the wire. Now I have a really big hole here. All right, so all I need, all I need is something to stop that. A little piece of felted weird stuff. Oh, I really need to go find some more of these. I love them as embellishments. This one I want to use. I thought I had another one in here folded up. I do. I do, I do. Okay. So I need... This will look right when it's done, but it's just finding out what works to get there, right?
this particular cutter goes through everything. Made it bigger. All right, it doesn't, okay, so it's too off from that gold. Actually, let's go off the gold. on the other side too. Ha. Okay. So oh. like that we could bring this up through here. Let's see. Let's maybe go up and down. It's almost there, guys. It's almost there. <laughs> Players, better choice. All right, but remember, as we push that, you know, you want to be careful. that all down and in together. Oh my booger. Let's go. I mean, I'm not going to put hours into this and then do a shoddy job on the, you know, final assembly, right? Take your time, do it right. Craftsmanship is important. Or it's not. You know, do it however you want to do it. For me, it's the little details. Nobody's going to notice how much time I took on this. Nobody's going to know that when they look at this book. Right? There's little teeny tiny holes in here that I didn't realize were there. All right, so let's see if we can find that we're in the wrong place. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So next time I go to do this, it's going to be a lot easier, right?
want that to go in there perfectly. Just like that, kids. That was something else. Okay. Oh, God. I'm exhausted after that battle. All right. Now, let's glue this puppy down. And then I really have to get to work. <laughs> okay. Tacky glue will dry clear. If it doesn't, we can add a little something, something to it, color to it. To... Well, we don't want it globby like it's going to do right here. We want to make sure it's kind of all the way around it though. And we want to make sure for sure that it's underneath it there. I'm going to try to fold it. This is still metal so we can still manipulate it a bit. Whew. That was quite the battle to get that to work the way I wanted it to. And we're going to stick a clamp on there for sure on each side. Top. Right. I found my bag of clamps. I was looking for yesterday. I couldn't find them. Well, couldn't find them. Couldn't find them. Couldn't find them. All right. So since we still have that wet, what is going to allow that to dry the way that we want it to dry without coming up? Let me take it off. I want to make sure that that's lined up where I want it to be. Let's go with a little bit deeper one. Make sure it's right in there. Oops, so that we can get half an in here. Oh, good. Oh, good, good. Can get that pushed into there. There we go. One thing I do want to do is make sure that I'm not crimping this side. So Maybe we can just do this. I would put a book on it, but it's um, too much weight. <laughs> Not enough space. Okay, uh, I've got to get to work. Got to get my foot finished taken care of. And, uh, that's not going to stay down. That little tiny bit right there. Not going to stay down.
there. All right, now that's gonna work. All right, kids, peoples. Worth it. It'll be worth it. Be worth the work. All right, chill tune. Let's look and see what has happened. Oh, that's what I was worried about, but we're okay. Look at how beautifully, oh, lights. Look how beautifully that attached. Wow, perfect finish. Let me flip it around here. You know, all that fighting this morning. All that fighting with that, look how beautiful it turned out. Look how nice and tight that is. And, okay, so what do we got over here now? I can guarantee you though this this well unless I tear the beautiful and I like that it has a little opening in there that you can see that there's other beautiful goodies underneath okay oh some passion fruit Sparkling water. Pretty good stuff. And it's busy. All right, so we're going to pull this out. And remember, we had to pull this out. If I can find my. Where's my pliers? This table just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. I swear, if I had extra time, oh well, I guess I have some extra time. But I'm working on a video right now. I'm, I'm uploading that. I just got home from work. I'd like to sit and just relax. There it is. Uh, Saturday. Maybe I can get some stuff done on Saturday. All right, so this guy, what I want, without the blue paint on it, preferably. Try to remember all the steps that I did to it. Make it work. Now what are the chances that I'm gonna be able to find that? Um... <laughs> Button again, Get close. Here's my other pliers. Here I'm just uh, tweaking those circles again. Here. That's a really good way to hurt your toe. All right, that's ridiculous. I do not need to save that. I have a ton of ribbon. All right. So we're going to take a piece of wire. I thought I had some out, but I guess I don't. Cut it with the right tool, wire cutters. This copper wire is really nice. I do wire wrapping with it, obviously. Okay, KKK. There we go. This is gonna be much easier this time, right? Right. All right, we have a little bit of a sideways here, so we can pop that in there. Oh, look at that. 
Isn't it amazing how you learn how to do one thing once and then it's like, oh yeah, I can do that. This goes to this, and this goes to this. Oh, I forgot to look for these. I'll figure out where I can reorder them again. This is some sort of filigree set. Oh, nice. Okay. The gremlins. Alright, so we're going to pull those out just a little bit here, and then we're going to... Shoop. <laughs> this was supposed to be easier. No, but I had done it once, right? I'm trying to make that as tight as I possibly can. Got a bit here that I need to cut off. There. Oh no, that's not good. Come on. I just want to see what I did here. Okay, booger. Okay. You see, you've got a lot of wire here that can move still. And that's part of what's causing the issue. Oh, there we go. Punched it down. I just forgot I was going to do it before. 
It's all right. Actually, that gives it a little more character. I'm going to crunch it here. Do it on one. You got to do it on the other. I like it better anyways. <laughs> anyway. Well, now it fits perfectly. Look at that. Okay. Let's, um... Metal. It's going downwards. Hands all sticky. Try to drag that off just a little bit too. If I stick this whole get up on it. Will I be able to access the other pages of the books? Maybe even just like that. Still need to figure out a better um, thing here. There's definitely something better we can put in there besides that. Piece of fluff, right? And I'm looking here at my stash. My stash, man, trying to see what there is. These are nice, heavy, heavy jump ring. I don't even know what they came from, but they're very substantial.
Come on. Go sideways with your jump rings. Never pull them straight apart. Let's go sideways. If you go straight apart, they will never close properly again. That's a horrible sounding thing, whatever it is. I have to shut you guys off or put you on uh, tunes. I will be annoyed. Because my peaceful evening would be ruined by my neighbors. So the possibilities are endless. You can just keep putting in little, tiny, wonderful messages everywhere you go. Right? Yeah, let's do it this way then. If it wants to be there. It's not going to do, folks. Time is a perfect one for Georgia. I think she would wander around her home. She had all the time in the world.
All right, I think, guys, that that is it. That is my O'Keefe page. always a couple different ways to do this right I think if we just do that right there it's just fine but there we are do I want to drag this over here just for one touch of a second a little bit. okay <clears throat> let's give her a look see trying. It'll be fine. Whether you succeed or not is irrelevant. irrelevant. There's no such thing. Making your unknown known is the important thing. Hmm. This almost feels like it gets some brass lining on it, couldn't it? Or the copper. Some of this. It's a lot of work, and uh, I need to move on to the next pages. Yeah, there's just no um, stopping. You can just keep going on and on and on. Kind of cool. I can stick some, uh, I can put some turquoise on there even. Something dangling. All right, guys, I hope you um, enjoyed watching that process come together. It uh, went through a lot of different stages, and I really loved how it turned out. So, take care, everybody. Stay safe, and uh, we will chat soon. All right.